Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to check out a game called And Yet I Go Nowhere by developer Split Reality. This is a first person sort of abstract surreal uh, exploration game done for the Low Res Jam 2014. Uh, so we're going to have a walk around, see what we can discover. It's a fairly short game and will involve us being banished to the 12th dimension for our crimes against humanity, where we can then find some sort of redemption by seeking out artifacts, I believe. Uh, so let's... Just get right into it, honestly. There's not a whole lot else to say. I think we've certainly covered plenty of surreal, abstract, exploration-style games in the past on this channel, so I think you'll get the picture fairly quickly. So let's walk into the white light. And we have been born anew into a world of uh, strange architecture and flickering textures. Uh, let's see what we can discover. So we've got what appears to be a fairly short draw distance, a big old cross in the center of the world, and something that seems... Oh... What was that about? Okay, I guess I was kind of stuck on that wall. There we go. It's like sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of a strange thing going on with that geometry. Uh, but yeah, that house was uh, imprisoning us. Uh, let's take a look around, see what we can discover. So we've got a big old plain of grass and some buildings over here, trees and such. I guess we're gonna explore all the buildings that are available. There's a little blue flame. I think we probably wanna grab that. I am trying to hold shift just in case that happens to uh, increase my ability to run or something. Doesn't seem to be doing that. I'm trying actually all the buttons. But it seems like we're constrained to the usual WASD mouse look and left click is interact on this one. Oh geez, what are you? That is creepy. That kind of reminds me a little bit of like an Atari 2600 game. Uh, only the frames of animation seem to be slightly broken. Uh, I don't know what it is about these games that seem to be showing up lately, uh, probably at the low res gen, to be perfectly honest, but there's just something really intrinsically unsettling about seeing things with this super low res vibe over them. Okay, we found another flame. I guess these are collectibles. We probably want to try and grab all of these, and that should probably trigger something to change. Uh, again, we're trying to escape this eternal purgatory, so I guess whatever changes, that's positive. Can I interact with you? No. Uh, I guess I could walk through you, though. Okay. Yeah, let's do that then. We have another flame over on this side, I wonder. Yes, we do. Kind of stretched out and silly looking, but you know, what isn't? Uh, okay, dead end. So it's like a little bit of a labyrinth contained inside of another labyrinth, which is a simple enough premise, but I think uh, anything like this, people can just jump right into it. You don't really require much of any knowledge of how to play it. It's just like, hey, here's a thing. Let's interact. Let's see what happens. A little bit of a visual art experience, I suppose, visual media type thing. And then you get into that whole classification of what is a game and all of that stuff, and I don't think we really need to do that, but I have definitely had that conversation a few times, and it usually at least inspires some interesting dialogue. Uh, however, I'm just me, so there's no dialogue, just monologue here, and um, my opinion is that it doesn't matter. So uh, let's take a look over by this crazy bridge here. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a far away bridge and we just don't have good perspective on the scaling, but it certainly does set a little bit of a different atmosphere. Let's see if we can get right up against it and see if that does anything. Nope. Alright, so there's a little bit of an invisible wall happening here. I guess we can't really walk beyond this point to the left. Got another one of these characters flipping out. Who are these supposed to be? Are these the guardians of this 12th dimension realm? Because honestly, if they are, they're not doing a fantastic job of keeping me where I'm supposed to be. Uh, these flames seem to be just kind of readily flying right into my possession. I'm definitely enjoying the vibe of this. Uh, I was thinking by the description this was going to be a much more confrontational and kind of aggressive style game. Uh, but it's very chill, kind of just relaxing, uh, contemplative experience where you can just kind of walk around, take in the environment and see what's going on. And uh, it's a little bit unsettling, though, because it almost seems, like, too gentle. Uh, I kind of feel like, maybe given the circumstances, something scary is supposed to happen at some point, but I don't really get the impression that's gonna happen. Let's open this building. Does it not have an entrance? Oh, hello. Alright, you're just, like, a half-facade holding that one, uh, flame. Alright, did I actually- oh, there's another flame over here. I thought maybe I've already explored all the buildings that are here, so maybe... Maybe I'm actually finishing up in a second? Oh! Well, geez, I guess that's my way out. Alright, well that was actually very, very quick. I mean, I knew it was a short game, but I didn't expect it to be that short. 
Uh, is there... Yeah, there's nothing really else to do. Kind of wonder about the symbology of the game. Are we going for a... This is, this is Purgatory, this is Limbo, one of those type of things. You know, it doesn't seem that bad here. I mean, I would probably have no problem if you had, like, a tent somewhere to sleep. You'd probably camp out on this lawn. Kind of just looks like uh, some sort of, like, a school campus somewhere. Maybe, like, a creepy school campus, but, uh, you know, I've seen worse places. So I presume if I walk into this light, maybe we'll end up with a The End. Uh, so I guess I'll just finish up the episode here. Super short game, but I like the general presentation of it. Great music. Uh, Lo-fi visuals, I kind of have a thing for them, I know they're not for everybody, and contemplative slow games like this, I just always enjoy, so you know, not a lot of marks against it other than I just wish there was a little bit more to experience and see, uh, but just in general, you know, I'm going to watch this developer, see if there's some other stuff on offer, and I could easily see this uh, coming up in future episodes, so there you go, that's going to be today's episode, and yet I go nowhere, uh, you know, the moral of the story, you go places, you get stuff, but in the end... Uh, same, same fate, same beam of light. But that's gonna do it for another day, guys. If you want to try this out yourself, it will be available for free, linked in the description if you want to go ahead and download it. Uh, there is actually, it's an each.io game, so you can pay what you want. If you want to support the developer, I highly encourage that. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it. It helps me out a whole bunch, and then you can come back again tomorrow. New episodes go up every single day in the Indie Impression series, so if you're into weird, artistic, original, and unique indie games, this is the place for you, and I urge you to subscribe, because that also helps out quite a bit, so you can stay abreast of whatever's new. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Let's walk into the light, and see that the game may inevitably quit itself. I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. Talk to you all later, everybody. The end!